Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we got this 2005 Nissan 350Z. The issue that it has is that it has an elongated crank time. So, what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to fix it up and how to do it on today's video. <music> Alright, first and foremost, what we're going to do, we're going to try to replicate the symptom. So this vehicle actually came from a dealership and uh, they got it as a trade-in and the customer did state that they knew about this issue with the elongated crank time. What we're going to do, we're going to just try to replicate this. So let's go ahead, let's crank this vehicle over. You see, so there it goes. But one thing that we did notice when I was checking out the codes look what we have we have a camshaft position sensor circuit code so what we're gonna do I'm gonna get my Pico scope out and we're gonna give it a little test we're gonna check it out we're gonna verify that we're actually gaining a, a square wave on the on the cam sensor due to this being a Hall effect sensor we're gonna have three wires we're gonna have our power our ground and our signal wire. So we're gonna start testing that out, verifying that we do have power, that we do have ground, and our signal wire is not dropping. And if it's just that, we just gotta change out the sensor. Okay, so right now we're underneath the hood, and I have my Pico scope hooked up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna test out the cam sensor. So, because this is a V6 configuration, you got a bank one, bank two, and on the code it showed PO340 bank one bank sensor. So what we can do, we can, you know, try to look at the engine and see, you know, which one's a little bit further this way and so on. And but I can see right here that there's a marking that says three, so I can imagine one, three, five, two, four, six. But if not, we can actually go to online or anything, and we can find the information. So as you can see, one, two, uh, one, three, five, and then two, four, six. And this is the front of the engine, so this is a front wheel drive. The bank one is going to be on this side. And what I know about these engines, the cam sensors are actually on the back side. So because this is bank one, we're going to look at the cam sensor. It's going to be back here, so let me get you a shot of that. Here's the back side of the engine. And just right there, I don't know if you can see that connector, that is the cam sensor right here so if I move if I, if I can move that to the side right here we can see that that cam sensor has three wires and like I explained this cam sensor has a power signal and a ground wire so what we're gonna do right now I have my Pico scoped hooked up and we're gonna be looking at the signals and the powers so I have the key on the on position so right now what we're gonna try to look for I'm gonna hook up to the power side and we're gonna try to see if this is gonna be a 12 volt or 5 volt and then after that we're gonna hook it up to the signal side and we're gonna crank the engine over and we're gonna see if we have a, a square wave that we're looking for so let me hook up my Pico scope and let's check it out All right, so what we're gonna do to start off, we're gonna change up our scales. We go up to 20 volts, and there you go. This shows battery voltage, because we're, like I said right now, I do have my key on the on position. So that verifies that we're actually getting, we're getting power to, to the sensor. So now right, right now what I'm gonna do, normally speaking on these Hall Effect, the Hall Effect sensors, the, they have three wires. You got the power, is going to be one of the the side wires the middle one's going to be the signal wire and then the other side is going to be the ground wire so right now i'm going to back probe into the signal wire and we're going to crank it over and we're going to see if we get anything And as you can see from our frames, 
we did a we did get a little bit of hash right here and that's when we were trying to crank it but it would not start and on these vehicles even without the crank signal you can still start the vehicle and that's where you get the elongated cranks so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go get a cam sensor and we're gonna put it on and we're gonna retest it all right so right now the wind is kind of picking up so i'm sorry about that uh we got a brand new sensor right here the hitachi there's an oem right here made in japan so let's get this sucker out of here and there you go brand new sensor all right so i have everything hooked up i do have my pico scope hooked up to the signal wire so what we're going to do we're going to try to turn it on and see if we can start seeing the wave signal and see if the car turns on real quick so let me run inside Okay, so right now I have the cam sensor connected in the back. We have our Pico scope hooked up. As you can see, my key is on the on position. We have it hooked up on the signal wire. We have a battery voltage. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go inside, crank over the engine, and if this is gonna work, we should see a off and on square wave. So let's go inside and let's see what happens. Alright, as you can see right there, we have an on and off square wave. Let's see if we can drop this down a little bit more so we can see the definition on, on it. And remember, the last one did not have that right there. So, there you go. It's just a simple cam sensor. It actually fired up pretty quick on this one. So, this is a, a way on checking this out. Worst thing to do is just to get the, the scan tool and go ahead and change out the, uh, the cam sensor. As you can see the video before, I did buy another cam sensor. The first one that, that came from the box was actually a defective one because it wasn't working. So we got a brand new one and this one is working now. So there you go. If you do like my videos, please thumbs up subscribe and share oh where's my thumb at there you go please thumbs up subscribe and share and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos from Oz Mechanics and another side note coming up this year uh, we got uh, NACE Auto Mechanica in Atlanta and as well I will be going to the one in uh, Mexico City that's gonna be in Spanish but if you if you do know some Spanish go head out over there and come train with me I'm gonna leave a link down below for that one and as well i will talk about uh put a link about vision for 2019 hope y'all have a nice day and like i said we fix this up without any issues y'all take care